Hey, welcome to the Witcher Math channel on this fabulous Friday, Cinco de Mayo 2023. And we're just going to do a quick and easy one. I realized I didn't have this on my channel yet. We're doing it in class, so we might as well do a video. Here we go. All you need, and it'd be fun if you did this along with me, pause it whenever you need to. Luckily, I pre-cut some triangles. If you want to pause right here and just make a random triangle, maybe two, go ahead and do that. Now the next step is going to be, this is so hard to do after you did so much work, but we're going to take a triangle and tear it into three pieces. Each piece should have one of the corners on it. So I took my orange one and I tore it into three pieces and we see the corners. We're going to line up the corners. Where'd it go? This one? Drew, I barely got that one. Okay. We're going to line up the corners. No, not like that. Ah, what have I done? I think I tore this corner by accident. Let's find out. Oh, no, it's okay. It's okay. The goal is we put the three corners together. Graph paper is great because we have a nice straight line. We put the three corners together. And look what happens makes a straight line. I'm going to take a ruler and actually draw that straight line to emphasize it a little bit. And if you don't have graph paper, you should do the same thing. Put the little arrows on. Okay. So there, that's... <clears throat> excuse me. Excuse me. There we go. So a triangle has three angles. And the angles add up to, this is 180, right? It's a straight angle. And that's called the triangle angle sum. And the reason I did different colors, here's a yellow one. So, do a better job tearing this time. There's one corner. ASMR. I did a better job tearing that time. Okay, we want to line up the corners. And it might help to keep track of them. For me, sometimes this is the hardest part, is finding the corners after you tear the paper. But if you line them all up and point them at the vertex, So fun, so satisfying. Boom. Triangle angle sum, which means if we call this angle A, angle B, angle C, we can say this about every possible triangle you could imagine. A plus B plus C equals 180. It's like having, at this point, it's having three supplementary ang adjacent angles. They're adjacent because they share a side and a vertex, and they're supplementary because they add up to 180. They have a sum of 180. Okay, so we did that one. What if I put these back? You know, you know what's gonna happen, but it's still fun. If we didn't do things that we already knew were going to be fun, it'd be harder to come by some fun. Right, there we go. Now it makes a full circle. Yay, fun. Hey, I had a purple one here too. Tiny one. So it doesn't matter how big or small or what type of triangle or what color of triangle. If Ah, 
Okay, let's line them up. Let's aim them at the vertex. Doesn't matter which order you put them in. Lining up those sides. Make sure each corner of the triangle is a vertex of the straight angle. This one got a little bendy on me. Boom, so we did it three times. So that's the triangle angle sum. I'm not sure if it's called a theorem, it's just a fact. We can do it time and time again with all kinds of triangles, all shapes and sizes, all colors. All the people of the world, let's go, triangle angle sum. They all add up to 180. Thanks for watching the Witcher Math Channel, and goodbye.